to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is ayana and you want to go ahead and press subscribe because if you don't you're gonna be out the loop you're gonna be missing new uploads you're just gonna be missing all the fun okay go ahead and press subscribe it's free ain't nobody getting harmed so go press subscribe this video has been long awaited i'm finally getting around to it and it's my natural hair journey so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into this video at birth 1996 my hair was natural no type of perm i don't even think it was safe to put a perm on a baby head but my hair was you know curly as a little fro as a little baby so nothing nothing too drastic there i'm not sure how old i was when i got my first relaxer i have to ask my mother but um i believe i probably was four or five when i got my first relaxer and this is why i think i do because i had my like twist what my mom would do my twist it will look like so shiny and straight i'm pretty sure that was a relaxer i don't know i believe that was my first time ever you know getting relaxers around four or five and i had a relaxer from when I was four or five all the way up until I was 16 so about 10 years my memory my memory is kind of bad from when I was a child so I automatically thought that my hair grew out of my scalp straight I'm not even lying I'm not kidding I really thought my hair grew out of my scalp straight even though I was going to get relaxers every two weeks I literally only had one earring on I forgot I took it off so um uh, discard all of that when me looking crazy in middle school that's when i first started that like, had the chance to do my own hair i was still getting relaxers so i didn't get relaxers and do that but um my mom was letting me do like you know my hair at that time so i would flat iron it um almost every day hair be smelling burnt my hair was extremely damaged the ends were really thin my hair was like right here it was not cute mm -mm. so when i first um started noticing like natural hair per se i didn't know anything about natural hair but when i got into um high school that's when i was like hmm let me venture i was still getting relaxers hair still smell burnt hair is still damaged but my friend grandma jade we weren't friends at that time but i've seen her at the high school and she had she had natural hair i didn't know it was called natural hair at that time but um she had natural hair and i was like wow hair is so full and thick and um my hair is so damaged and burnt i tried to you know do more research on natural hair before i actually you know started doing it i never knew my hair was like curly like naturally curly i always thought it was straight because i had so many relaxers a uh, majority of my life so i'm just like my hair is straight it grows straight i um, until i did my research and i was like well you've been fooled you know once i did my research and learned about transitioning to natural hair and understanding all that stuff a little bit more um i wasn't 100 percent understanding of what it was but you know you can get the gist of you know hearing little things here and there so once i did my research one night i still remember this to this day i literally asked myself what is the point of me getting a relaxer when my hair is already damaged it's thin as a mug ends are thin as a mug what is the point of me getting relaxer i literally asked me myself that i was like what is the point of me what's the point what, what's the I reason? what is what am i trying to achieve so that's when i was like okay well i'm going to go and transition to natural hair so my hair can be healthier and so it can look better the first attempt was back in 2011 um i think that was when i was in ninth grade I, that's when i tried to become natural um, I did it, I transitioned for like three months and then um, I got discouraged because I was being told like if you don't get no relaxer your hair is going to break off and it's not going to be you have to get a relaxer you have to keep getting one and I'm me over here just like oh my gosh I don't want my hair to be extra damaged so I got another relaxer boom uh, so when I got my last very very last relaxer because they were saying your hair is going to break off so I got my last relaxer and a family member actually did that and it didn't turn out well. This side of my head was extremely, like this front portion was so short. Like it had to be like short as this, my finger, that short, probably even shorter. And it broke off so bad y'all. Hair was completely, it was done. Okay, well, 
I gotta let my hair grow out. So might as well just transition again. So that's when I started transitioning again, but this time I actually stuck with it. I actually transitioned for about um, eight to 10 months. I think that's how long I transitioned for. Some of the styles I did were, I still flat iron my hair once in a while. It didn't come out, you know, super cute. Um, I think I did go to the hair salon once or twice. I believe once for them to professionally straighten my hair. I did like a little roller set situation. I used to twist and then put the roller onto my hair to have like a curly fro to blend the two textures together. I used to wear net beanie hats. That was my favorite go-to little thing. Just throw it on your head. The net beanie hats I used to wear all the time. In 10th grade, I did this, um, this weird little style. Like it was like, my roots were like so like, not the same as the rest of my hair with the relaxed ends so you can tell the difference and I used to have like this little tuck situation because my ends were extremely damaged hair was already short so I used to do that and then I also got um when I first started going natural I also got my hair um extensions put in it like the little twist situation put in it my head looked so big y'all my forehead was humongous so I also did that as well to help transition um even when i used to wash my hair when i was transitioning i still didn't know nothing about natural hair so i was just like well why doesn't it feel the same as the relaxed ends like when the water hits it it didn't feel the same so i was just like oh okay um so i wasn't used to that so i was just like that just threw me off so like i said i transitioned for about eight to ten months the first time i went to a natural hair salon was in 2012 I believe it was the beginning before May um, of 2012. That's when I went to the salon and they did like a little twist out on my hair. I did not like it at all. It was so shrunken and I did not like it. But she she cut majority of my relaxed ends off at that time. Let's just say this much of relaxed hair left. I don't know why I was hanging on to it, y'all. I don't know. But I had about that much of relaxed ends left. And she did like a little twist out, but it was like so shrunken. I did not like it at all, y'all. My grandma was like, do you like it? And I was like, mm -mm. Months passed, and I believe May of 2012, that's when I was like, I went in that room, and I was like, I'm finna just cut the rest of these little ends off, because I literally had about this much left of hair, relaxed ends. Because majority of it already broke off, and uh, the salon lady already had cut majority of it off so i was just like what is the point of me having that little bit of ends left so i went ahead and cut it off and that's when i was fully natural fully i was extremely excited i was just like okay this is a new beginning i'm gonna take care of my hair how i want it and i'm not gonna let it get damaged like that ever again because i got a little more knowledge but once i became natural um I still did like that little twisted roller roller set style because that's all I really knew how to do. I did not even straighten my hair. I did not straighten my natural hair at all. I did not use any type of heat, y'all. The only time I used heat was to sit under the blow dryer. I didn't use any heat at all until like uh, a couple years later, but I didn't use any heat, y'all. So 2013 to 2014, this is when I was evolving. We are evolving. So that's when I learned how to do Marley twist. I wanted to switch up my style because I was getting tired of doing a twist roller set or just a straight roller set or just doing little puffs. I really didn't know a lot of styles at that time so I kept doing the same thing. But I was excited. I was researching how to do Marley twist. I did my first Marley twist in uh, around 2013 or 2014 y'all. I was proud y'all. I was proud. And once I learned how to do Marley twist I did that like a whole whole lot i did molly twist a whole lot y'all i didn't know how to take care of them at that time so it was my hair was extremely dry and everything so i didn't know about no loc method or anything like that at that time yeah i did molly twist um i had one of my friends do like um individual braids one time i only did that one time so that was like during my ninth and tenth grade year i also started doing puffs uh, my puffs were extremely tiny y'all it was like really like packed down like puff um did that kind of puff i also started doing halo twists when i learned how to flat twist i started doing halo twists i started also doing um buns but i didn't do a bun like you know pull it up and you know wrap it around because my hair wasn't that long i used to do the bun where you do like you put the scrunchie and then you grab the end and then roll it over and then bobby pin it i used to do that bun all the time y'all 
it was not cute but i did it because i was like i gotta switch it up i gotta look at these videos i gotta know how to do this stuff then 2015 came around i was still doing marley twist y'all all through my 11th grade year that was the time i was doing marley twist marley twist i had marley twist in that entire almost entire year i didn't take them out to you know get my hair a break but i get my hair a break for about three weeks or a month and marley twist right back in because i'm just like i want my hair to grow i want it to look good 12th grade i still did my marley twist but not as much as i did in 11th grade and then um i still did my little twisting you know curl situation i also did my first very very first blowout on my hair at that time um i think i was turning 18 and i did my first blowout and i band two knot at the end but it was so cute y'all i was like it was so cute at that time so i did my first blowout it came out extremely cute um that was my first time ever using heat at that time and then i wanted to do something extra different and just you know straighten my hair flat iron it so for graduation when i graduated high school i flat ironed my hair it wasn't like bone straight like straight i still flat ironed it and then i band two knotted it so it could have like a little wave so that was my very first time ever flat ironing my hair i have not flat ironed my hair since and i've been natural for seven years so i haven't flat ironed my hair since 2015. 2016 came around through 2017 i was still doing my little thing um this is where the time came around where i was learning how to come up with my own routine for my hair and how to take care of it um i looked up how to do the loc method i looked up what products i should use so i used to still do my marley twist y'all they just was helpful for me and i started doing twist outs at that time and then i started also experimenting with they weren't super mini twists but you know just twist and then put them in a little style i started doing that as well to experiment and you know get my hair some time to rest and you know grow because i was all into i was really into protective styles and getting my hair to grow at that time 2018 comes y'all hair is growing hair is flourishing I started doing more buns. I started, I was doing buns a whole lot. I still did my Marley twist. Every year I at least do my Marley twist at least twice a year. I did my blowouts. I would blow out my hair at least once or twice a year. I will also do my puffs. They were getting a little bigger, a little juicy and chunkier. Then I started doing mini twists. This is when I like really started doing mini twists. I think I did it twice last year, I believe. So I was doing mini twists at that time, just to you know, change up my style a little bit. And I also started dabbing in some wigs, y'all. Like, I only had one wig last year, but I got two now. Well, I started getting into wigs as well, because I was just like, well, I wanna, you know, I, I wanted to have straight hair for a second, but I don't wanna straighten my hair, because I don't wanna get damaged and all that stuff. So I started getting a wig, got my little first wig. It wasn't the best wig, but it was my first wig. And then that's when I started doing my, um, well not started, but I still did my flat twist and curl, like my flat twist. And then I used the flexi rods to put them on my hair. I have a video on that already, but I still do that like right now to this day. Um, I started doing that probably in 2015 as well. So I've been doing that style, has stuck with me since then. 2019, we are here. Hair is flourish. Hair is healthiest all my life. I don't know if that makes sense. So yeah, then my blowout this year. My blowout is beautiful, y'all. My hair is so long compared to how it used to be. Tear. Just remembering that. Remembering my middle school hurt looking hair to where I am now, y'all. Crazy. I do my blowouts now. My puff is humongous when I want to do a puff sometimes, but sometimes it's like my hair is so long now that it's like like a mushroom. But um, I do my puffs now. They're huge now. I still do my Marley twist. I add a little spice to it now, so I just put my um those little loose hairs in it, the little goddess types of hairs in it now, just to get a little spice and a little flavor, just to change it up. Cause I've been doing Marley twist since forever since i started my natural hair journey i'm still doing mini twists just to give my hair some time to rest and you know still style it up and look cute just to do something different once in a while do my wig now i bought me another wig wig is beautiful y'all I'm, I'm obsessed with a little bit of wig now and then i did my first wash and go boom very first i've been natural for seven years and that was my very first wash and go this year wow she's a baby <laughs> as you can see y'all 
my natural hair journey wasn't you know anything like super bad like I still was taking I was learning how to take care of my hair so it was a little dry I'm not gonna lie but I barely used any type of heat I'm still like that now like I don't even really use heat on my hair at all either once or twice a year that's it wig if you want your hair looking like sleek wig that's all I do I stick with my Marley twist all throughout my natural hair journey so I'm pretty much still doing the same thing I'm more knowledgeable on what I'm doing with my hair and how I care for my hair so I've pretty much been doing the same thing y'all hair flourish hair is beautiful bomb cute so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you get inspiration and encouragement y'all because that head of hair I had was damaged and burnt smelt burnt look burnt ends are destroyed disintegrated y'all this i hope this video gives you inspiration because if i can do it you can do it i hope you guys enjoyed this natural hair journey video that's been long awaited and i love you guys thank you for being here with me on my journey um i'm just more excited now because i can take more pictures and we gonna continue this natural hair journey okay seven years and counting i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to share sharing is caring go ahead and share but don't forget you're beautiful you're strong you the best music and i will see you guys in my next one